beautiful people welcome back to my channel this is mansa queen here i'm happy to have you here today thank you for stopping by in today's recipe i'm taking you back to my roots and guinea bissau if you guys don't know i am from the gambia and i'm from the manjaga tribe and we hail from guinea bissau today i'm cooking a very popular manjago dish and it's um the gambian palm nut stew and i believe in manjago we call it uyach i don't speak manjago though so excuse me if i butchered the name gagne tay nak sosi ñu la len indel bi nak suma mbokki njago yes suma mbokki jolla yi la ko jagle parce que ñoo xam nañ ko baaxa baaxa baax Today I'm making my palm nut stew with some fresh catfish. This is the authentic way that my mom taught me how to make this. If you've used fresh catfish to cook before, you would know that it comes in really, really slimy and it just has a lot of grime on it. You, it takes a lot of time to clean it. So the best practice I use is to squeeze in some fresh lime and lemon, whatever you have, squeeze in as much as possible and go in I'm just rubbing it all over the the skin and then I would also add some salt and just scrub it all over. This helps to cut all the grime and slime on the fish. Next I'm going to go in with my knife and just gently scrape it off. As you can see, it is bringing out a lot of dark stuff and that's just all the grime on it and you, you can see that as I'm scraping it the fish is becoming a little lighter and getting cleaner so this works very effectively the lemon and the lime and the salt just just work together like you can see right now it looks very different from what it was before I started cleaning it so now I'm gonna I turn my faucet to the really hot water and I'm just gonna fill that up and to that I'm adding some salt and also squeeze in some lemon, some lime, sorry. And I'm just gonna let it sit there for about five minutes. And voila, there you have it. It's all clean. I just gave it one last scrape and look at it. It's really white and clean. This is how you want it. Now we're ready to season and I'm just using some salt. And I also squeeze in some lime off camera. To make my Pam Nut stew, of course I need some Pam Nut extract and since I'm in the US, it's so hard for me to get a hold of palm nuts. And this is what they actually look like when they just cut it off the tree. And um, this is what it looks like after they um, take out all the nuts. So I'm used to making it from scratch back in the Gambia. But since I can't get a hold of it, I'm going to have to use the extract today. Because that's all I can lay my hands on. This too is so easy to make. It only requires simple ingredients. Here I'm cutting about half a big red onion and I also have some spring onions. These two just take the flavors to another level. I will also be adding some habanero pepper to taste. Then I'm gonna blend all of that and keep it aside. Here I'm opening up my palm nut extract and all I wanna do was just try to dissolve it in some water. That way I remove any lumps that may be in there. So this is what it looks like after I've dissolved it in some water and I use the whole can by the way. To start with, I'm using about two to three tablespoons of palm oil, just a little to help me fry my blended ingredients. And I like to use this large surface area pot because I'm using fish so I don't want it to get all mushy in there. So to that, I'm adding my blended ingredients, as you can see, and just stir it. You would notice that it will have a lot of water in it just because it's onions. So you want to let it fry out till all the water dries and it actually begins to fry. So as you can see, my water is all dried out. Now it's time to add my palm extract. 
so i just put in the dissolved um extract and as you can see it has already started um emitting so much oil this is filled with oil because it's directly from the pam knot so i went ahead and added the whole thing and as you can see it's really thick so i'm gonna add in some water to lighten it up and this will all depend on how light or thick you want your stew some people like it a little lighter more like a soup version i'm used to the thicker version like a stew Legi na grossi na kobem dok yoke na si suma so suma nyul bisi bo pam legi da masi yoke ndo pas ki mungi fartorop da nga yoke ndo da mu muna oyof so des na dal si na kanga bugi mu far man da ma di prefer mu bu tik da now i've added enough water i'm gonna cover it up and let it come to a boil It is boiling on low to medium heat and you can already see the oil floating on the top. This brings out so much oil and I strained the excess oil at the end because I don't need all of that. Now I'm going to season and I'm just adding a little bit of um, seasoning cubes. And this part is optional. I like to add in a little bit of crayfish and um, you can add powdered shrimp and this is just about one teaspoon wow heti bah bah bi nak man mako fa yok bi nak sama own family you don't have to add the crayfish like i said it's purely optional can you guys see all the oil floating i told you this because <laughs> this is how you actually make palm oil you boil the nuts and that's how they extract the oil from it so it brings out a lot of oil, but don't worry about it. We'll strain it out, like I said. I'm adding a little bit of um, pepper because I needed some. So I've been cooking this too for about 20 to 30 minutes now. And, and it is time to put in a fish. And this is why I like to use this pan because that way I can have all the fish laid out flat instead of being on top of each other. I'm just putting the stew all over the fish so that it is all nice and coated and you want to cook this for at least 15 minutes because the catfish is pretty big. After about 10 minutes of cooking I flipped the, the head of the fish to the other side because it was so big and I needed to other make sure that the other part was also cooked. At this point, I'm tasting for salt. Make sure that everything is okay. You can adjust all your seasonings now. So it's been cooking for a total of 15 minutes now and this is what it looks like. It's thickening up and you can see that I've already strained out all the excess oil. This is all I left in there and it's thick enough for me at this point. I'm just letting it simmer a little and this is how easy and quick this meal is i think the prep time is just what takes the most time rather than the cooking it's pretty easy and it's so delicious like i said this is an authentic manjago dish in nigeria i believe they call it banga soup and you can also make it with meat sometimes i make it with fresh um, poultry so you can add like your heart chicken, you can use goat meat, you can use beef. It is so tasty and delicious. I hope you guys really did give this a try. Wagai binak suma sauce nyul parena yep bahna yep safna farna enough binak suma mboki jagoi wa gomis kunda wa mendi kunda lopez silver kay nyep la ko jagle as suma mboki jola item fatu umale. So we all done. You usually would enjoy this too over some white rice. And I hope you guys really give this a try. If you are a Gambian and you've never had this stew, saucy noodle, please do give it a try. You would absolutely love it. And like I said, you can use any protein of your choice and it's absolutely very delicious. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video today. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you've not subscribed to my channel, please do consider subscribing. And until I see you guys, stay safe. Bye.